right, guys, so here we are in our level. And what I want to do is clean this out so that we can build uh, and bring in our castle. So the first thing we're going to do is just select things one at a time. But I want to just show you something. So I'm going to click this object. And you see these arrows? Well, if I click them, it moves them in that direction. You see, this is a 3D space. And Alt and, you know, uh, left mouse click allows you to rotate around the thing you selected. And you can also click the middle mouse button and move like this. I don't know if that was in the video yesterday. But the really important keys are W, E, and R. So what does W do? Well, it moves it. I already showed you that. And rotate. And R is the size. Now I want to show you something. If I click just one, it'll only make it longer along one axis. If I click from the middle, though, you'll see all the things are lit up. Then it's like grows. Okay. Now if I press play, look what happens when my player sees it. It's just like massive thing right next to him. Okay. So I'm going to press escape. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go up again using the E key. Told you about. I'm going to delete everything in here that is not lights. So you see, there's this thing here. That's the light source. So I want to show you something. I'm going to, you see these shadows? We're going to change it to movable. So the shadows disappear. Now this is the, some high rent, rendering issues, but we won't get into it right now. Just do that so you no longer see these shadows show up when you create new things. I want to get rid of this third thing because it's pointless. I'm going to get rid of the floor, and I'm going to get rid of this back thing. Now, you see, this is called the sun sky and the light. Don't delete those. Keep those in there for now, okay? And this is the atmosphere, and this one, too. You leave that in there. I'm going to delete that one. That's something I did this morning, I think, or yesterday for you guys. And, you know, double check. Now, do not delete this guy. That's your main player. You don't want to delete him. But if I press play, look what's going to happen now. He falls to his death because there's no more floor. All right? Well, he doesn't actually die. He just keeps falling because we didn't program it yet. So, again, I'm going to go back to my third-person character and I'm press the F key. So I zoom back up, okay? Now what I want to do is I'm going to create a landscape. So under modes, you see this button? Click, landscape. And this shows up. Now... We're going to add some rivers later on, and, and it'll be or a lake. So click this button. If ever you forget, it's not the end of the world. I can we can add it later, and then you just click create. All right. So you see, when you do, you're going to see this brush show up. Well, if you click on it, it's going to start doing stuff. Well, we don't want to do that right away. Now, if you did that, you can just click Z, Control Z, just like in Photoshop. And now, what I want to do is bring in my castle. Okay, we'll worry about the brush after. So what I'm going to do is I want you to bring the castle, but put it like further away. I don't want it to be right next to your character. And I'll, you know, it's kind of complicated, but for now, just remember that. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it castle. So how did I do this? Right click, new folder, and I'm going to write castle. And, you know, I'm going to do just like in Google Drive, right click and I'm going to put a nice color just so I know that that's a thing that I added. I won't get it confused with all these other things. And I'm going to double click. And what I want to do is I'm going to go back to Asset Forge. So this is the castle that I did. So this is mine. And I added some of these colors. And this was a thing I noticed several people this morning. It's like, well, why don't you put some paint on it? Make it look nicer. So, you know, like this kind of painting is very easy. You just select a color and you just you know, do that. So I'm going to undo that because I already did it. So make your castles look nicer with a little bit of paint. And because once you bring it into Unreal Engine, you can change this to another color, but it, you have to do it in here first. So, um, all right. So I'm, what do you do when you're done with this? You go, I'm going to save it first. Then I'm going to export it. You've already, I've already shown you this. This should be a review. Then you click on FBX. It's the only thing you need to change. And you click export. Now I've already done it. So I'm going to go here now. I am going to import it. So I right click, right click, import. And I know I left mine here. So I called it Castle FBX. So here it is. And 
Now, I often click, I'm going to click 10 here, just in case, because it doesn't always import it uh, full size, but I think it should be, all right. So, what it's going to do is bring in all this stuff. These are my shaders, my colors, but this is the actual castle. So I want to show you something. Now, if I bring this into the level, okay, I should have typed 100 over here. So you remember when I brought it in? I'm going to do it over just so you guys can see. I'm going to click delete, click force delete, because it it's too small. So I'm going to go import, go get the castle again, Dubo castle, FBX. I'm going to type 100 instead. And I'm going to click import all. And there, here it comes. So this time if I drag it in, look how much bigger it is. Well, it's probably too big. But remember, I just showed you something. W-E-R. I'm going to shrink this down. There you go. And I'm going to do a play test. Well, I already know that this guy's not going to be able to go in it. Because there's something called collisions. So whenever you bring in the level, there's like the thing you see. But then there's a thing that the computer sees. This is what you see. This is what the computer sees. Under player collisions, look here. So I click this button under player collisions. This is what the player sees. So does he see a door? No. He's just going to bang up against this. All right. So let's fix that right away. We, you see this thing down here that's blue? That's called a static mesh. That's your model. That's your castle. That's, you know, in all the things we did in Blender, that's always called a static mesh. So here's my thing. Like nice looking castle. I'm really happy. What I want to do next is I want to, well, and even in here you can see the collision. So let's put it on just like you see the same thing. So what we want to do right away is fix the player collision. So we scroll down where it says collisions. And right here it says collision complexity. Change from complex to simple. And boom. This is now what the dude sees. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to turn this to back to lit. And I'm going to click um, play. But now you're at the play testing phase. So what you start doing is you start seeing, is my castle too big? Do I need to shrink it? So I'm going to go up to the stairs and see, first of all. Well, you know, I know you won't slide up the stairs. you got to jump up, you know. You, I could still shrink this castle. Bit. That's up to you, right? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go press escape. I'm gonna I'm gonna just shrink it just a little bit more. And if I go down here, uh, over here, I'm gonna sh shrink it by 0 0.0625 so that it doesn't shrink too much at the same time. Am I selecting the right thing here? What am I selecting? I need the castle. So I want to do this. Yeah, let's just press play. So what you're doing is you're play testing it. And I want to remind something that I told you. Remember I said make it far away from wherever your player is originally? Again, let's do a test here. Okay, it's still a bit smaller. But I want to show you, like, there's something wrong with my model here. Okay, how you fix that. So here's the stair I did in uh, when I was in Asset Forge. And, like, it's, it's sort of too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here in, I'm going to re-import it. So I'm going to go down here. So you see there's an error here. So I'm going to can I click on this thing. Circle. Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Click on this. I'm going to shrink this and bring it down a little bit. And then I'm going to move it. And, well, I'm going to make sure it's kind of like, there you go. That, does that look a lot better? What The basic thing is anything else you want to change, let's pretend you're like, oh, geez, I should have put something like this over here. Or I should have put another stair over here. Now, this is the time you do it, okay? Now, obviously, that stair makes no sense, but I'm going to just do that just for the heck of it. So now I'm going to click Save, File, Export Model. Same thing. You just click Export and save it over the original. That's really important. Then click yes. Then I just come back here. I click on this. Right click. 
And by the way, you will have access to this video. I know there's a lot of things here and you won't remember all this. Re-import right here. Boom. So you see, there's a thing and there's a new stairwell I just created. So that's cool. Like, I know I did that one wrong. But what I'm trying to show you guys is, so that's the first part. Bringing in your castle. And in fact, I might have done it a little too close. When I brought this guy in, I should have probably put it a little more over here. Because the problem is, some of you, if you bring this castle right on top of your player, you'll have to call me to help you because it'll something will be broken. Okay, so that's why you always put the castle a little bit over here. So now, the last part that you should try to get done today if you can. Again, this is your goal. This doesn't mean some of you are behind for various reasons. But let's do some sculpting of our landscape. We're going to go here, and I'm going to show you more advanced things tomorrow. But here's the landscape mode. So I have a brush here, and I can make it a lot bigger. So let's, uh, and, and you notice, I want to shift. I'm going to click E, and it's going too slow, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to change this to like 7 and click E. I'm going to look at it from the top. And what I'm going to do is basically make a bunch of mountains. Okay, now I'm going really fast. You might want to take your time a little bit more. And these are probably too high. You know, and another thing I'm going to show you how to do is a lake. And I'm going to shrink this. And to do the lake is different. I'm going to basically, you could even do a moat around your castle if you want, but it's up to you. Press the shift key. And what you see, instead of going up, it goes down. And I will show you guys tomorrow how to add water in there for today. And again, how do I, now that I'm done, I'm going to go put this back to three. And I'm going to select on my third person character. So I don't, because I, uh, I'm, let's pretend I'm done. I know I could do a lot more landscaping. Well, actually, I want to show you something before. Let's go back in landscaping. And. What I want to do is I'm going to build a mountain over here for my castle, okay? And up here under Sculpt, you're going to see Flatten. So I'm going to flatten this so I can put the castle on it. There's a problem though. My player is not going to be able to run down there. So I'm going to make a ramp. So click here and you can make the ramp wider if you want. And then I'll press enter. And I'm going to close this landscape. Click on third person character. Press F. You see the ramp? So now I'm going to go press play. Let's go see if my, if, well, there's my mountains. There's my castle. There's my ramp. Maybe you want to put the castle on the hill. Usually castles are always on a hill. If you ever go visit, you know, Scotland or, or Germany or France, a lot of the castles are on the hill. So I'm going to just test to make sure my guy can run up this. This is what this is. Okay, yeah, he's able to run up. <coughs> and I'll show you guys how to paint the landscape later. But for now, this is what we're doing. And so you're play testing. Oh, see, well, maybe he has a hard time, so I'd want to fix that in the sculpting phase. And then you can move your castle over here. All right? So that's what you're doing today. Don't be shy if you have any questions and 